going on guys this is Matthew Justice with Beaver Creek Woodcraft uh, I want to share with you guys today a axe that I just rec recently completed for Jamie Boggs of Burning River Bushcraft um, this is a Russian Topor axe that he had had and uh, when he got it it had a cracked handle so I offered to replace it for him and uh, it's slightly longer than the original uh, it's about two inches longer than the original birchwood handle uh, and this one's made out of locally sourced Ohio ash um, and it's treated with a pine tar and linseed oil finish as it gives it this nice dark color. It's rehung with the original steel wedge and uh, just sharpened it up and, and got it ready to work. And uh, I tell you, this, this Russian steel is pretty interesting because it rings like a bell. So it almost sounds like you're swinging a machete when you're chopping with this thing. And uh, very much like a tomahawk. I'm sure you guys have seen Dan Wolwak his uh, Russian axes and uh, the one he has is smaller it's like a hatchet this is more like their full-size um, carpenter's axe I guess you could say because it's almost like a hewing axe very large straight bit um, a lot of the time these were modified they'd cut them off here and put them on a little bit longer handle and turn them into a taiga forest axe um, but I mean it's pretty interesting and uh, it's definitely tough enough I mean these large eyes were designed to handle Submarginal woods like birch for a handle and with something like ash or American hickory uh, it's almost redundant you know you're, you're probably never gonna break this thing so I got a little bit of frozen uh, hardwood that was washed up here by the creek earlier in the spring I figure what better way to come out here on a 25 degree northern Ohio day and test out this Russian axe on some frozen hardwood As you can see, it bites plenty deep enough, throws out a good chip. Uh, I did have this thing stick a little bit on me when I cut some green wood earlier in the week, but uh, for frozen, you know, Russian birch in the taiga, I can see it's a definitely a good design and it's adaptable to, uh, you know, the eastern woodlands. This has been Matthew Justice with Beaver Creek Woodcraft. Thanks for watching.